Which artist would you love to sing with and why? Beyonce, Tina Turner, do a duet with Adele. Hopefully Frank Sinatra, Tom Jones. Pink, she could sing with anyone and make anyone sound amazing. We were each from different countries. It was quite uh, difficult to understand. Carlos was probably the biggest personality of the three guys meeting them. He definitely has this, what I would call Spanish fuego. And so meeting him was like meeting a great big bundle of energy. Remember the big voice and the big vibrato and me coming from the pop world. I was like, how am I going to blend with these guys? They have such a strong voice. So I was very intimidated. I remember we met for the first time, I think in Simon Cowell's office and we were all wearing high collared sweaters gray and black ones. Well, let me give you a little uh, impersonation of each member of the band. So, Carlos would be, hello, hello baby, <laughs> are you single? I can do a little bit of, of Urs. Hello, this is Urs from Switzerland. He's very proper and he's always on time. Of course would be, you guys are really not on time. Sebastian is very French. When you say something a little louder, you say, oh my God, he's just it's too loud. David would be, so let me uh, explain to you how the voice works. So it resonates here in the ear and then goes to the brain and comes back to the ear and goes back to the brain and then... We have a lot of fun and we make fun of each other. After uh, being together for, for these 16 years, we are really like a family, we are really like bros. My favorite Il Devo song is Adagio. The song is very, very beautiful, very dramatic, has an incredible build. I think it's one of the songs where every voice at its time is in the perfectly right place. My way. This was the first song that we sung at the office in front of Simon Cup. Now I'm a big fan of Frank Sinatra. On Break My Heart from uh, Tony Braxton. I remember sitting with Simon Cowell in his office with the band and when I heard the magic of the song and our, the way we harmonized together, I literally thought we had something really strong. Best thing about touring is going from country to country and seeing how our music really impacts people. You get to see the world, so you get to know the world. Meeting different cultures people, cities, countries, sites, museums, cultural buildings. We are live singers and we love to be live. This love from the fans is what to give you the strength to be on stage all the time. But they're enjoying what we're doing and that's amazing. So the one career highlight that I'm the most proud of is of course uh, selling close to 40 million records. That's an amazing achievement. Singing for the Queen of England, singing with Celine Dion, Obama's inauguration was incredible. What's left on my artist bucket list? I never really think about bucket list because I just take my life one day at a time and I just move on and there's always new things to do, new things to do. My desire is to create an entire catalog library of filmed operas, kind of bringing everything that I know in my frame of reference and channeling that into film. Recording as many records as possible with the LG Boyne alone and touch completely different music and styles, being able to perform with Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Pink, you name it. I want to leave what to be remembered of the four guys who gave the heart, who gave the passion, who gave everything on stage and to open the door to maybe have the people want to listen to opera. I would like to make music history with Il Diva as being the most important, most influential group in the genre of classical crossover. For being one of the first groups that started to break down the barriers between classical music as a genre and the other genres. Before guys on stage, we have a lot of fun. We're sharing the passion. A new style of music is kind of pop opera with big voices at the end. That would be amazing, especially in this day and time in quarantine, and that it helps you to go through this difficult time that our music is healing. And remember that we love you, and we can't wait to see you again.